A while back I got into flying quadcopters and tricopters and decided it was time to, to fly a mini quadcopter and so I wanted to build my own. So I ended up buying these DYS 1806 motors, they're 2300 kV. And these motors have actually turned out to be uh, surprisingly more powerful than I thought they would be. They are very small in size. When I first got these, I looked at them and I thought, surely these motors are too small. But no, these motors work fine. Uh, along with the motor in the package, you get uh, some uh, bullet connectors and a little bit of shrink wrap. And you also get the uh, top part for, the, for mounting the propellers. So this is the propeller shaft. And it just has the four holes in here. That line up with the four holes on here and screws down on there. This thing, without the screws in it, just sprint, spins freely like this. It came with several different screws so you can use them to mount the motors onto uh, arms of your quadcopter. So the propeller shaft is mounted on there now and I got this and I let's go ahead and measure the size of this. It's a four millimeter shaft. The uh, propellers that you're probably going to buy are going to have a five millimeter um, hole in the middle of them such as this one here this is just a two blade four uh, five by three uh, propeller now when you put these on you have it see how this gets on here and it wobbles around quite a bit that's because you have to use a spacer hopefully your motors came with something like or your propellers came with some spacers that look like this and the one you want to use is the one in the middle so once you have the spacer removed you can slide the spacer over the shaft then slide the propeller over that, and then it gives it a nice tight fit um, so that the, when the propeller is spinning around, it's not off balance and shaking the whole motor and, and turn your entire quad. Now the, the big competitor to these, or another competitor I should say, it are the RCX motors that look like this. These are a little bit cheaper. These are, I kind of think of these as the low end of the high end motors. And the nice thing about these motors here, let me go and make sure this is still zeroed out. These motors actually have a 5 millimeter shaft on these. Now the advantage of the 5 millimeter shaft is that when you go to put the propeller on, it just slides on without having to have any adapter. Also, since it's 5 millimeter instead of only 4, it also uh, gives a little bit more strength to the shaft. Some people say they that these smaller shafts, uh, the 4 millimeter shafts, are... Uh, eat more easily breakable well of course they are they're four millimeter but I think four millimeter I haven't broken any of these yet and I've flown a, a mini quad with these on for oh gosh several months and these are still holding up fine now I do have a problem with sometimes these bullet connectors if you land upside down the top of them will break off yeah that's kind of a pain but that's another story all right so here's the Here's the motor with the shaft on, all four screws in it, and the uh, bullet piece on the top. Let's go ahead and see what this weighs. Comes in about 24.6 grams. So if you had four motors, it would run you just less than 100 grams for the motors. With these motors, you can use 5 by 3 propellers like this. And these give you plenty of thrust. But once you start putting on things like your FPV gear and stuff like that, you might realize it's not quite enough thrust for you and so they have these three blade propellers and these are the same size of blades it's just that there's three of them uh, and so what the third blade does it gives a little bit more lift to the uh, motors so they can lift up a little bit more weight the bad side about having a third blade on here is that it does add a little bit more weight and it also makes the motor just a little bit less ineff inefficient now I've flown with the two blade and the three blade and I way prefer the three blade. So here's my mini quad. You can see that I'm using the five by three propellers. And I fly this uh, mini quad mostly with FPV with the camera here and I got the Mobius camera up on top to do the recording. Well here are the uh, DYS motors. These are the ones from I got from Banggood. They're the BE-1806-2300 kV. Uh, I'm also using a uh, NAS, Acro NAS 32 board for the flight board and some Afro 12 amp ESCs. And this flies really well. It has plenty of get up and go. I rarely ever, I mean I probably never 
uh, max out the throttle except for when I'm just flying at line of sight. These motors seem to have a lot of upward thro upward pull, and when you, I'm going toward uh, bushes, it seems to be able to lift up pretty well and get over them. I mostly just use this to fly around my neighborhood, up and down my sidewalks, and around my house. Uh, I take it out to the flying field occasionally, and it flies real well out there too. Anyway, these are the DYS 1806 motors. They're real good on a mini quad like this one. This is a 250, if you were wondering. But these are great motors. If you're building a mini quad, I'd recommend that you actually try these. Now these motors though, they can handle uh, 3S batteries like this one. This is a 1500 3S battery. It carries this around just fine. And uh, the speed controllers handle it, the motors, everything handles 3S just fine. Now, I also have this 4S battery that I uh, purchased just to try it out. And I was worried that, the, <laughs> that, the, that this would burn out the motors. Well, the good news is, no, it doesn't. These speed controllers can handle four cell batteries and these motors can easily handle, handle four cell batteries. I, I pushed this pretty hard and when I landed the quadcopter, the motors may have been a little bit warm to the touch, but that's about it. And you gotta remember, it's not really voltage, you know, like a higher cell battery that'll kill your motors. It's the heat that the, motor, that the motors generate themselves that'll, that'll destroy your motors. Anyway flies on either three cell or four cell battery it doesn't matter both of them will the motors can handle either one so if you are looking for some motors I'd say give these a try they're around 10 bucks a piece so you're not you're not breaking the bank when you buy it when you buy these um, now they're probably not nearly as good as Tiger motors but Tiger motors will run you forty dollars <laughs> so you know if you if you got money go ahead and get those I don't have any money so these are what I what I chose anyway these have been a, this has just been a quick overview of these DYS motors. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll put some links down to some thrust tests that have been done and to places where you can buy these motors. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.